morning, St. Jacob's. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we have a couple of announcements, quite a few announcements to run through today. So we're going to touch base on those. Yesterday, Scott Good morning, St. Jacob's. Good morning. Good morning. Was so we have a couple of announcements, quite a few announcements, actually to run through All today. All the conferences, so we're going to touch base on those. Yesterday, we Scott and I went to the meeting UCC conference. At, uh, the West, West South the Penn Central Conference, East. and actually got together all the conferences and they voted to come to Pennsylvania State to be UCC conferences. UCC called uh, West South the State of Pennsylvania East got together. That's and due to they permitted combining to resources to be so that way there's UCC more information more in the uh, state of Pennsylvania. Help that's due to, to part of it is the combining job resources. So that way there's this has been going more information two years, years, I believe this uh, how Carrie explained it, talking about help different things to be able this to will not take effect until the year 2026. Um, this has been a lot of things two years of years provided explained it by laws and sound like different, different things to us. This will not take May effect until the year of 2025 for us they have a lot of things that they need to provide. So, uh, the bylaws uh, sound like there was a unanimous vote yesterday. Everybody has an situation. There were some, some that were not over. Well, it didn't want to combine, but um, because it does, it was a unanimous vote. It was a challenge. Everybody is in decide to get together. There were meet. some that were not finding a well, centralized location for everybody because it does can be a little bit of, of a challenge. There are quite a few that decide to get together to meet. Conferences finding a centralized location for everybody to meet one or two people can be a bit of a challenge. That are in the upper part there are quite a few eerie area <coughs> conferences so that makes their drive consist of to come in one, one or two people, but they'll provide us the upper part of information as we go. Eerie area conversations if you want. So that makes their drive a some distance to come in to try not to fall asleep. But they'll well, provide us a little bit more information as we but go. But it was very nice. Town the other thing that we heard yesterday well, was, this so is a friend of mine who follows us on Facebook, because it's a lot of the news, she's all the things that we've been doing, but it was very yes. nice. The other thing that we heard yesterday was, they, so a friend of mine who follows us on Facebook, and she's all the things that she said, you know, yes, they really good things going on. Five people on a Sunday in the church in a class of Penn Park. And she said, you know, and she said, you know well, they, 25, but their most is five and half is about five in the morning. People on That's a lot of people. She goes, it makes it tough to sing. Well, and 25, but they're uh, mostly more than this. Having this very five, so we are very, very blessed yeah. morning with Bob and his amazing stuff to say. Oh, I've come on. Yeah, I can't reach the final organization. Very, very blessed. Retirement is an optional
So as you uh, go shopping for looking for the next couple of stuffing and cranberry sauce boxes is stuffing because I did it on sale. So as you go uh, shopping within the next couple of weeks, if you want to pick, pick up an extra box of stuffing because I did it on front sale, we'll be able to give them to our food pantry. Uh, cranberry sauce. And stuffing. We'll just stack them up, them up front here and be able to give them to our food pantry. Uh, we did serve. So speaking of food pantry. Yes, go on. 104 sandwiches. Yes. Uh, we did serve 104. Okay. Now, other statistics. Yes. That means we served a total of 369. Now, other statistics. That means I'll we served a total of 369. 18 new families. Out of that 104 so families, we served 18 new families. And of those new 18 so families, that's almost we served 67 people. Now think about that. 18 and families, of those new 67 families, we served so obviously people. They're not in my 18 families, but 67 these, people. these 18 families. Uh, obviously, so the need is definitely way. there. And we can even break it down into this. Families. Children, so the need is definitely there. Age. And we can right. even break it down into this. Children from 0 to 18 to 59, 170 to 55. And then seniors over 18 to 59, 175. It is incredible. Out there. And then seniors over 65. We need all the help we can get. Thank you for volunteering. Thank you. Blessing us with all the help we can get. Thank you for thank you for volunteering. Thank you for these people. Yeah. Really, really blessing us with food. A couple of things that I just found out. These I think we think really, that the reason really our numbers are so high. A couple of things that I because there's only two. Now. I we think that in the reason our numbers are so high so was because there's only two. So those people that might have a job that serve on they can't go to the other food pantries around the So those people that might have a job. They can't go to the okay. other food pantry. Well, the town. and another oh, one is, if someone calls the York County yeah. Food Bank, okay, I just moved well, over the area. And another one is, if someone calls the York County Food, 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 food Bank, I just, I just want to go. The area. I'm really happy. Do you have a job? Yeah. For whatever every Saturday, where can I go? Church, or you go to St. Do you have a job? Yeah. Okay. So there's two Saturdays that this I think we're getting to more and more people. And so there's two reasons right there that I think we're getting cutting more and more cutting our and grant. unfortunately so the state we has a lot of cutting and cutting, and cutting all over our grant. grant. So yeah. some other church has a lot of those one in Jefferson, all over. Uh, I think and and they're collecting food. Some other church I have what the one in Jefferson. Uh, you know, so if you know someone else that might want to connect bringing up us you know, for morning. this purpose, you know, so if you know someone else that might want to collect that works, you know, for this purpose, thing. you know, I know the joint ground you can know, for that works, yeah. you know, for they do the same thing. And I know the, uh, you join uh, bingo, bring you can food. Bingo, you know, does that, uh, uh, and I know the, uh, 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 so things like that will definitely help to keep those people in mind. So things like that will definitely but keep so those people up. in mind and in your prayers. It, it is incredible when you hear the statistics and you break it down. So we up. all are trying to stretch our dollars. It, it, it is incredible as as when you hear yeah. the statistics and you yes, break it down. Right. It's going on we all are trying, trying to stretch to our dollar as far as our dollar in the right go. direction can be because talking. that's what's so. going on in our world today. <clears> just trying I'm to sure that if you're unable to get stuffing yams or cranberry sauce, anything else, Corn. I'm sure that if you're unable to get better. stuffing yes. yams or cranberry sauce, yes. anything yes. else, corn, soup, peas, green beans, yes, you see it all you really need is soup. soup. And soup. we do do the soup bowl for the soup. We do the soup collection for the soup bowl. We can start now and collect that. And we do do the soup bowl for the soup bowl. We do the soup collection for the soup bowl. We can start now and collect that soup. We had a great turnout on Friday evening for our trivia. It was general trivia that we had. We had a great turnout on Friday evening really for the trivia. Join us. It was one general trivia questions that we had. And what president? We really missed the bartender. Join us. One of the trivia questions of the evening was, 
So which, which president, president? You can't answer. Had his ah. bartender's license. <laughs> so which president do you think had his bartending license? Mr. Rich. You can't answer. Ah. You can't answer. <laughs> so which president do you think had his bartending Rich license? Mr. Rich. Mr. Rich. No, you can't answer. Lincoln. <laughs> Mr. Rich knows this. You mean? I never would have thought of that. But he evidently had his bartender's license. So. You need no things you can with your that. So we won't be having trivia yeah, in the summer of January due to the holiday season. So this is things you can learn with your going on. So we won't be having trivia in the summer of January due to the holiday season. And it's six busy this of everything that's going on. Our next trivia will be at February 30, depending on the amount of trash talks that can start at 6 30. So you know, it's about 7 30. The Rick's on the amount of trash riches is on. So it can get pretty interesting. Rich's installation is on the Rick's or Rich's 10 o'clock. And we will be having a shared. Rich's installation is on December. We would love to have that at that day. And we will be we'll having be a shared lunch afterwards. And we would love to have you join us that so day. If you want to bring something to we share, will provide from chicken, dessert, and fantastic that day. There will be a sign up sheet. Share have done slapping and printing and shaking up. Fantastic. Lobby. There will be a sign up sheet. Soon as we're done slapping and printing and shaking. It is on the table. It's on the lobby. So it's right there. So we also have a December Christmas oh, dinner. It is on the table. It's on the seventh. So we also have a December Christmas dinner. So fifteen dollars per seventh. Doors will open at five thirty that evening. Sign up sheet fifteen dollars per meal. Yeah, that's out here also. So it'll be a fantastic meal, I'm sure. Also, sign up sheet is on December fourteenth. Is Reeves across America. Also coming out here on December fourteenth is Reeves across America. This year again, that's yes, near and dear to my heart. And um, that will be at 9 o'clock. This year again, this is yes, 2 o'clock on the street. We do need and to remember that 9 o'clock. It is food pantry day that day. Parking lot across the street. We do need to remember that it is food pantry day that day. So we will have incidents. The parking lot may split off a bit so that way we don't have any incidents happening. We're not going to be clothing that day. We're not going to park on this side. We're not going to be clothing that day. So Scott and I are going to be placing the flags during the week of Thanksgiving. If you have Scott and I are going to be placing the flags during the week of Thanksgiving. Now, if you have someone that you want to lay a wreath with, we raise more so for Scott. So that we know the family is sure that you're. It did make the other announcement. If there is someone that you want to lay that flag, you are unable. It did make the other announcement. If there is someone that you want to lay that flag, you are unable to be here that service on Saturday. We will have the wreaths to meet up with you to provide you with two the service on Saturday prior to Saturday. We'll be able to meet up with you and provide you with your know that you could lay sometimes prior to Saturday. Travel wise, you could lay there because we didn't know that. Sometimes it good news like is we have 338 wreaths in our. Good news is we have 338 wreaths, so we didn't receive 250 of cash the week um, prior. Wreaths, so we didn't receive 250 of them. We knew the final weeks and prior tractor trailer. So we have it shipped again. So that's always a fun. Us and the tractor trailer deliver those. And we'll so have that's always fun. another. And how many of those? Then we'll roll over to 2026. Another. Something I needed to. Are there any what is coffee and donuts in the day after that? In the social hall, the only coffee and donuts to hear your story of your family. In the social hall, come and share that. We would love to hear your story of your Honoring them, come and share them. That's exactly what that day is meant for. Honoring them and sharing their memories with us. How are pumpkin rolls going to rain? Anything else? How are pumpkin rolls going to rain? Awesome. It smells really good. So awesome. It smells like our alarm went off this morning. So it was like a when our alarm went off this morning, but no worries. It's like, hey, what's going on here? Anything else? But no worries. Otherwise, I'm gonna turn it over to Bob. Anything else? Otherwise, I'm gonna turn it over to Bob.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We forgot one announcement. Uh, that is, we forgot one announcement. Calvary. That they are due to set of orders. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. So she has a quarter form. Next Sunday. If you would like to see So she has a quarter form. Um, if you would like to see one Catholic for Christmas, um, please Catholic. Is there anyone for whom you wish to, is there anyone for whom you wish to pray for this morning? Uh, I don't, uh, Wendy?
you thanks. Give you thanks. Life in this life in this community. Some come some come seeking. Others others come assured. Come assured. Some have some questions. have questions. Others some others some want company. company. Whatever our whatever our reasons for gathering. May they all may they all see you us encounter and encounter with you your grace your grace and your way and your way. Infuse infuse us your, us power, your power forged in love, in love so that we, so that we, we in my courage and courage and respond and respond to this age of your king of your king on earth on earth Amen Amen. Christ came into Christ the world, came into world to save us from sin once sin, and, for all. and for all because of His sacrifice, sacrifice for us. God waits. God waits in mercy to forgive, us. to forgive us. Let us confess, Let us our, confess sin our sin God before God. God. Forgive us, forgive us, Lord, when we think when we find to Christ as ourselves and plan and plan for and honor and honor. Forgive us, forgive us, Lord, we cannot give up our days as we do not be He called to me, he called to her and said, bring me a little bring water, 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 water
that we may that we may eat and die and die. Elijah said, Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Go and Go do as you do as, as you have said. But first, but first, make me make a little, me a little cake of it and bring it and bring it to me. And afterwards, and afterwards, make something, make something, something for yourself and your son. For thus says for the, thus Lord, says God the Lord God of Israel, the jar of the jar of meat will not be empty, and the jug of oil, the jug of oil will fail, will not fail, until the Lord sends rain, sends rain on the earth. So she went. So she went. And Elijah said. said Elijah said. And so, and that so she, as she, well as, as well as her household, her household ate for many days. The jar of meat, the jar of meat was not empty. Neither did the jug of oil fail. According to the word. Say no, 
so you say yes. One organization that uses this fundraising approach is Goodwill Industries with its Change for Change program. In Fort Worth, Texas, shoppers raised more than $295,000 across 25 retail locations in 2020. The program advertises, you give change and we will promote change. Like job training for people with barriers to employment, Goodwill and other businesses understand the power of the penny. So does Eliana Redman. In fact, she wrote a book by that title. It's a primer about the penny that not only provides penny principles, but links it to the U.S. president whose likeness is on the penny, Abraham Lincoln. The audience for her book is children, so the kids get a fun lesson on history, culture, and economics. But why all this talk about pennies? When taking a spiritual inventory, it's good to think about the pen, your penny philosophy by which we live. And I want to challenge everyone to review how specifically you manage your money and the principles that guide you. In support of this challenge, here are a few penny principles that we might keep in mind. The penny belongs to God. The penny alone is powerless. It's a piece of copper and zinc. It weighs a mere 2.5 grams. In fact, I picked one up this week that I don't think even weighed that. It can be found on sidewalks and streets in piggy banks, jars, pockets, kitchen drawers, parking lots, and around soda machines and probably in my drawer. But here's the thing, <clears throat> unless you pick it up, it can't do anything. A penny has no power without a person to put it to work. Make plans for your money. Put it to work. Let your money serve you, not the other way around. You set the agenda. You come up with the vision. If you don't, a penny is just a piece of loose change. Do not pen, pander for the penny. No need to lust after more money. It could be more terrible than it's worth. It's like the late notorious B.I.G. Big rap skin, Mo Money, Mo Problem. I don't know what they want from me. It's like the Mo Money we come across the more money, the more problems we see. And that's the end of my rapping career. <laughs> Do not try to please the penny. Don't worship the penny. Worship God. Remember the words of Jesus. Take care. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. To this, the writer of Hebrews adds, keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Do not pinch the pen. Do not be parsimonious with the penny. Rather, be generous. Give away to strangers. Give to a charity. Give, give it to the church. Keep what you need and give the rest away. And do not fear. And do not fear the penny. Giving away your penny will not thrust you into poverty. After all, it's not about having the most pennies when we die. When Jesus watched the widow fumbling about her change purse for the last coin she had, he was curious. 
He called his students over to watch, and they did from a distance. Her two coins amounted to a penny. He and his disciples watched her drop them into the collection box. And knowing her situation, they were all amazed. Her bank balance just went from one penny to zero. Jesus was highly impressed, especially since he had watched the Pharisees at all put money into the treasury and lots of it. But these were the people who had oppressed the poor widows in the first place. It was all ill God. <laughs> this woman Christ. worshiped God, having been with the coins that she bear the sins of men, all the coins will appear a second time. Not to Jesus was inspired, and he said, but Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasure. For all of them have contributed out of their own. woman worshiped God with the point she, she of her poverty, has put all in everything she had that she had. All she had to live. Jesus was inspired, and he said, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasure. For all of them, inspiration offered their must to change. Dr. Delphine was wise put in as the principal of Rocky Ridge, all she had to do for Alabama. That according to a recent Forbes article, she has a master of leadership fire. Dr. Dill, as she likes to be called, inspiration often leads to change. Take the time to inspire. Dr. Delahani as Wadi Inspire is the principal of Rocky Ridge. She thought it was only over Alabama. She encouraged according everyone at her school to offer as a to master of leadership. She inspired them. Dr. Dill, as she likes to be called, she has the penny giver to say to the receiver, Take the time to inspire. You have penny power. And be inspired. You inspire me. She I thought I'd take this penny and pass it. She encouraged everyone to schools to offer a penny to anyone it's like who has inspired them. With a full she asked the penny inspiration. She asked the penny giver to say to the receiver, the kids, "You started a penny penny pennies to school. You inspired me." The Forbes are hope you take this her and say, "It was so good." The they were giving them to our teachers, teachers and telling their teachers how it's like they appreciated them. They were giving them out to their aides, to our custodians, and then the kids, to their parents, started bringing pennies to school. The forms are lonely pennies for a say. It was so rich, they were giving them to our teachers and telling their teachers how much they began. They were giving them out to share a respect to our custodians, to their parents, in a union. It was like a love fest. But grew into a movement that the lonely penny that first produced inspiration has now generated change. The penny in the case of the widow is a day's reading, however, sharing it was not the penny that God inspired Jesus. In it was the faith, but grew into a movement that changed her last two points. The culture of Jesus was always impressed by faith. Not the case of the widow today. And a lack of faith was often distressed. It was not the penny that inspired The widow's Jesus. offering was an expression of it faith. It was the faith and a test of her disciples that motivated the giving. And Jesus found this utterly impressive and inspiration. Jesus was always impressed by faith. Many read nothing most him more have seen. And a lack of faith is not a distressing thing. They invite us to the do the widow's offering was an expression of faith. They understand the power of my show. Donations. And Jesus well, found penny 
you so you're waiting for those that days to return as they, they want to be. And if we wait too long, this church will die. Think we're closed. And we will close. But I also want you to realize I am evaluating what things I do in my preaching and that my worship leadership to see. So if you're waiting what for those days to return, they won't, so that we might be and if we wait for them. This church will die. So I'm going to challenge you today to think about I have been evaluating what we can do as a what I can do in my preaching and my worship it must to reach out into the community. What I can do differently. It must get us out so in that the community we might be able and to meet the people who surround us. So I'm going to challenge you today to be creative that cannot be used too as a penny project or too cutesy. It must reach out, and it does not necessarily have to be a pit. It must get us out that we into the community to somebody. And we, we should have something small to be able to give to people. Well, it needs to, to be reminded of that Jesus it cannot be too poor and St. Jacob for too cute. And that Jesus it does not necessarily have to be a penny that we because the call to somebody to we should have something God's small to be able is to give, to give people the opportunity to remind them to express their savior and he said St. Jacob's is here when they ask that Jesus, Jesus will not only will not only be because the call to action, action for this gospel reading but is to give people, people the opportunity might just pray to express their right. faith and he said to him when they do this, Jesus will not only will not only be the one who is inspired, but the power of the pen of number five hundred and righteous prayer to life to a community.
Pastor Ray Lake Moss, Nurse and strengthen us in our pursuit of our prayer. Renew your creation, Nurse God. Sustain the earth and seeds and all that renew the nation. So kill in us, so reverend all heal, preach greater and small from unseen and strengthen us in our pursuit. Tend to their traumas. Mercy soon, burden conscious. Guide readers to the world nation to serve God and pursue peace. Heal our nation's veterans from unseen of war. Renew and toward their trauma. And protect those in our communities who are wrong. Guide readers of the world to end conflict, especially in pursuit of peace. Yes. Merciful God. Dominance. Renew the work of our Lord God and protect the names you have on a door to our bonds or bill. Especially Bud, Jess, Bud, Donald, and accompany persons who are unemployed with those who are our purpose, children who are in foster care hearts, and those who live alone. Watch over and uphold them. Merciful God. Accompany persons who are reducing children to UCC and St. children who are in foster care. And give us clarity in our mission and boldness. Watch over our way to hold them. Bless our ministries that attend to save our needs of any who lack. Renew St. Jacob's UCC and St. That all may live in good dignity. Give us clarity in our mission and boldness in our way. As our ministries help tend to basic needs of any we give you thanks for all your faithful ones that will praise you as their God, merciful God, their life long. We see our prayer. As we eagerly wait, happy are those whose help inspire us by their We give you thanks for all your faithful ones who praise you as their God. We offer our prayers to you, gracious God, trusting in your as we eagerly wait for your boundless love. Inspire us with me. By their lives, through Jesus Christ, our Savior, merciful God, who taught us to pray. Our, prayer. our Father, we offer our prayers to have Amen. gracious God, trusting in thy name, thy boundless love, thy will be done me on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, give us this day our bread. Our God, our God, as our God, our as we forgive, how is thy name? And thy smile, thy will be done for us.
systems of scarcity, of, of scarcity to embrace a life of generosity, compassion, and mutuality in the presence of the creators of all. Give me glory to God alone. That means we need God. 